Game Masters here, and in my Worth It video, I clearly stated that the new Book of Many Things was my favorite Dungeons & Dragons release of the year. I also stated that I wished that I could give it a solid yes, it was worth it, that it was worth the price tag, but I also had an issue with it, and that issue was with the deck itself. The cards are all foil, and I pointed out that, true to Wizards of the Coast fashion, they're curved. But worse than that, they were also of different sizes. This is a follow-up video that I did showing those cards and how off the size they were. It bothered me that this is uh, what one would get if they dished out their hundred bucks. I mean, how disappointed would you be if you got that? And that was the core reason why I could not fully give this a, a yes, it's worth it stamp of approval. But then... I checked my email, and I saw that something had come in from Wizards. Hi, Brian. That's my name. <laughs> we wanted to let you know that we were made aware of a limited number of Deck of Many Things product samples that had manufacturing defects. Please let us know if you received one of these defective packages, and we will quickly replace it. We are also working on a public-facing communication. Best... And a few hours later, Wizards of the Coast released this on Twitter, or, or is it X now? Twitter, X, whatever. Due to a manufacturing issue, the physical version of the Deck of Many Things will have a delayed date. The digital release of Book of Many Things will not be impacted by this delay and will still release on Tuesday, November 14th. Purchasers of the physical plus digital bundle will still receive early access to the Book of Many Things on Tuesday, October 31st. While neither confirms if it was the deck itself that was the manufacturing issue, I have to assume that that is what they are referring to. Yeah, I, I, I know what they say about assuming something, but I've closely examined the book's binding. It's fine. I've looked over the pages within. None are double printed or missing. The cards are the only issue that I could be found or, or that I could find find that would be off. And while Wizards has not specified a new release date, I'm 100% happy to say that I'm pleased with how they're handling this. We needed a little time between releases anyways. Me and my table, we're still moving through Fandelver and below. Almost finished, but we're still working on it before we hit Planescape. Besides, how many video games have been pushed back a bit to put more uh, polish on them? How many movies have get, gotten uh, pushed back to finish editing? Watsy putting a delay on this book of many things so that the issue can be fixed. I see that as a positive. It's a step in the right direction, and I can only hope that this is a foreshadow to what 2024 will be bringing us. Well, well not, not in terms of manufacturing issues, but in terms of proper customer service. And just so that I am clear with everyone, I'll cite this right here, right now. This, uh, this book definitively with the fixing of the deck, I'm happy to say that I can fully recommend this new book of many things. I felt compelled to do a follow-up video. Watsy is making it right. And as I've said in the past, I call things like I see them. In each description of every video, the last sentence written says, review copies that we get in have zero influence on our opinion of said product or company. If we like the material, we will say. If we don't, we will say. That simply means that just because I am sent a review copy doesn't mean that I'm going to be a shill for that product's company. If I see an issue with it, I'll be firm in that and will share that. If I see praise is warranted and that the product is worthy, I'm going to say that as well. This is an instance where I saw something, an issue, and I spoke my mind. They, uh, Watsi is fixing that issue, and I must give them credit for that. As mentioned, that goes a long way in my book. Now that's it, guys. I've said my piece on it. I like the book. I think it's going to be uh, uh, a good amount of fun added to my table. But tell me your thoughts on this uh, down in the comments. Does Wizards make it right? Um, does that put a slight smile on your face? Again, let me know down in the comments. And until next our paths cross, may you... I don't know. Tell me. What should we do until next our paths cross?